There's my little chicken. I think she looks pretty darn cute. which is a glaze. And this will, this will be um, the orange spice uh, zesty glaze for the chicken and the rice. Um, so what I've done is I just brought my little um, heater um, stove here rather than going back there to use the stove. And uh, I have, where's my little, let me wash this. Okay, so I have two tablespoons of orange juice that I had saved, uh, two tablespoons of soy sauce, and one tablespoon of oyster sauce. One teaspoon of, what was it, ginger? One teaspoon of fresh ginger. So beautiful. Okay, so that's my fresh ginger. And uh, one to two, one or two teaspoons of garlic. It depends on what your thoughts are about garlic. And I'm going to do one teaspoon and then I'll taste test. See what I think. Uh, and then we've got one to two tablespoons of honey. tablespoons of rice vinegar, two tablespoons of rice vinegar, because you want a little bit of that sweet and sour kind of zest, and one teaspoon of, oh, here we go, five spice. just like spice so I'm just gonna do a few flakes okay now get that there get that little whisk and I'm going to add some cornstarch as well and I'm just going to start off with see, about, sorry, about two teaspoons of cornstarch.
and I'm just going to make sure I get that all nicely blended. And then I will add some water. here and I'm just going to add enough to make one cup in total so we'll see how that works I can always add water as I go along sauces. Okay, now I'm going to turn that right up. Okay, so I've got a couple more hours for the chicken to cook. And in the meantime, I just want to get my sauce done. I got this little whisk in uh, a restaurant store. It's stainless steel, so you know, never have to worry about it rusting out. Where you know, other whisks that you get, you know, eventually they start to rust out in around here, and you know, they end up in the garbage. So it's worth the investment to get stainless steel. So excited. That chicken is going to be so good. Like I said, this dinner is something that you want to do for company, uh, you know, for fun. You know, making a clay chicken could be your activity that you do as a family. Uh, just a little weekend fun. have there it is I finally hear that noise coming through but I need to keep stirring until it gets nice and thick and I have my little spoon to do a taste test okay so this has turned out just right. It's got a nice um, thickness to it. So two teaspoons of cornstarch. And when you do your measuring, um, whatever liquids are already in there from your orange juice, your oyster sauce, honey, and uh, what was and soy sauce, uh, that will start to come up. And then if you just put enough water in just to equal one cup that'll work out the consistency really well and yeah so you have about probably about a cup you know of sauce and just to show you it's just it's just enough of a glaze And there's just a little pinch, you know, I only put a few flakes of uh, the chili pepper uh, flakes in and it's not spicy. It just adds just a little twinge and then the ginger that's in, the fresh ginger, it just, you know, you bite into one of those and it just gives a little zing. <laughs> it's perfect actually. So. That's it, and I'll just let that sit aside, and now my glaze is ready, and now I just have to wait for the rest of my chicken to cook. Okay, so this has been cooking for 
uh, two and a half hours, closer to three hours. And I added my little Gertrude, my little tiny chicken that has the wild rice in it with the nice marinade. And I'll be very curious to see how that worked out. And so got a little bit of cracking going on with my big chicken. Uh, but that's to be expected with clay when you've got, uh, you know, wet clay going into a hot oven. Uh, it'll just crack at some point. So I'm going to let this cool and then come back and crack it. So this is a little more of a close-up shot to what the clay chicken looks like after it's been cooked. And just to it's pretty firm. And yeah, it's just a little bit busted here and there. So this one here, the the rice just it just it just fell. It was the clay was just a little bit thin down below, uh, a little bit thicker up here. So it seems that if it's a little bit thicker, it's a good thing. But then <laughs> it's really hard to know because even the the chicken, you know, it was thick. Uh, but it really comes down to, you know, putting wet clay into the oven. And so it's you know, just so you can see a little bit better of, you know, how it worked out. But, um, but the clay is hard. It did such a good job, like <laughs> my little chicken. You know, just imagine, you know, serving that with some guests and, you know, having people that have, you know, participated in the process. What fun it will be to eat. Okay, I'm just gonna let that cool and we'll be back to crack it. Well, I just realized I had hit the record button for the breaking of the clay and when I went to look none of it recorded so I can't repeat that that stage but the clay came off and I'll just show you uh, just so that you can see and you know there's like some nice big chunks of clay that and and it's cut and it's you know it's not super hard, but it's pretty good. And my chicken head was saved. So there it is. And it, it came out nice. And the little Gertrude got banged and broken and there she is. Okay, so now at this point in stage, uh, I'm going to move the camera in so that you can see what it looks like as I'm opening it up. Okay, now um, I'm going to open up my rice and the rice uh, was left over of course and I didn't want it to go to waste. Now it's looking like it's got some juiciness to it. Oh, just a second. It's still juicy. Now I don't know how that rice cooked and how it could expand because it's all squished in the tin foil. Okay. Oh, there's hope. Okay, no. 
now. I just want you to see what that looks like. And it's cooked. It is cooked. So putting it in the tin foil was success. Okay. Out of there. And okay. Now, as you can see, I'm just going to try a little bit. Okay, that is good. Now, I'm just gonna get a cloth and wipe that counter a little bit. Okay, so this is my chicken. Let's see what happens here. Juicy. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Look at that beautiful chicken. Oh my gosh. It's cooked, and that rice, let me just do a little test here. It's cooked. Look at that. That is a beautiful thing. Oh, okay. So I'm going to put this onto a dinner plate and I'm going to have a little feast. And I've got my glaze that will go over my beautiful chicken and my rice. So, I'll be right back. Okay, here it is, all served up on the plate. And look how beautiful that is. Rice with green onions, shiitake mushrooms, and some cut up orange, and beautiful cooked uh, marinated chicken with orange spice and cooked in clay. It's absolutely beautiful. The aroma is just amazing. So now I'm going to do the great test taste and eat it. Okay. So dinner is set and I have my beautiful heart music playing in the background, which is my music. And take a look at this beautiful setting. Look how lovely. so happy.
happy. This is a beautiful meal and it was a bit of work, but so worth it. Now, I'm just gonna try my rice with my little glaze and the shiitake mushrooms. It's just a beautiful mouthful. <laughs> it, it just, it has, it, it's hitting so many places in my, on my tongue that, you know, it's got just a little, like barely any spice in there. The red peppers doesn't overwhelm it at all. It's almost unnoticeable, but there's a little after linger, just barely. So for somebody who's not big on spice, should be able to tolerate it. And the shiitake is just beautiful. It's just, it just tastes so wonderful. That glaze is just beautiful. Just drizzled over the chicken, a little bit over the rice. It's really just a mouthful of bliss. Okay. Now I already taste tested the chicken <laughs> and it is really tender. I, I tried some pieces that were at the bottom of the, the bottom part of the chicken and oh my gosh. It just about melts in your mouth, that chicken. And the glaze is, is perfect. When I did the glaze, I only did a few sprinkles and it's got a little bit more of a spice to it, but not, again, it's not, a, it's very mild. It's noticeable, but mild and it just adds to the beauty with the flavors, the, you know, the, the sweet and sour with the vinegar and the honey, and then the blend of spices. It's just beautiful. Well, what a perfect evening. I have a beautiful meal. I have my candles lit. I have my music playing in the background. And a little bit of organic orchard wine from the Okanagan Valley in Canada, in British Columbia. So, bon appetit. And I hope that you give this recipe a try and do Leave a comment if you've enjoyed this video. Be sure to subscribe and give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.